get this one underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. With possession along the wall. An easy stop with the pad by Bobrovsky. Takes a moment behind the net. Now he slides it up to Reinhardt. They've got some momentum here. And that doesn't reach the net. Denied by the goaltender. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Edmonton's got the win off that draw. Dreisaitl's gained the line and on the attack. Takes a shot. Scores! Caught it again. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Edmonton's been pushing hard here early in this first period, and look at that. Their hard work pays off with a goal. Ah, uh, there's so many mini-games within a game, James, and to start the period, you can look at it as one. And they have certainly dominated in that area, and that when you start the game like this, you dictate the pace, and that's exactly what they wanted to do, and send a strong message to their away opponent that when you come into our barn, you're not going away with a W. The Panthers play it along the way. Moves it to the truck. Too much traffic in the lane. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. And he sends it across to Eckholm. The Oilers will play from the defensive zone. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. The Oilers played along the boards. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. Taken by Forsling. Slides the pass over to Verhage. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Scooped up along the wall by CeCe. Slides the puck across to Kane. Smart defensive play there. The Oilers gain the zone. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Sends the pass over. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Kane's got it in the defensive end. Nice zone entry from the left. Moves it quickly over to Rodriguez. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Quick feed to Barkov. Still has possession. Quick pass to Kane. Oh, and a great hits up play to force the turnover by Verhage. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And now he passes up to Oposo. And the puck skips away after that move. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Oilers have taken a 1-0 lead. McLeod's won the draw inside his own end. Moves it up. The Panthers have it from their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. That's blocked. Here's a short pass to McLeod. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Great cross ice pass. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Lowers the boom with that hit. Tries to make that cross ice feed. The Panthers cross the blue line and are on the attack. Here's a shot. Wow, what a stop by Skinner. Moves it to Ryan. Here they are on the attack. Oh, it's he scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes it count. What a beautiful play as they catch their opponent flat footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush, perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course, finish. 
Edmonton took the play tonight, now leading by two here in the first. Well, a consistent effort through the first period here, James. I'll just want to wind it down and make sure they head to intermission with that two-goal lead. But it's all about the number of shots they're putting towards the net. You know that their coach has been telling them, you get it on your stick, you find a lane, put it there. Oh, what a save by Skinner! Tries to feed it over to Ryan. And he takes the dish. Pokes it away in his own end. The Panthers look to start the transition game. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Feeds it over to Lumber. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Made the stop on the play. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Oilers now lead by two. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Kachuk's creative, he's skilled, and loves to try unconventional plays to beat goaltenders. We call this his It's Tricky Zone ability. McDavid's foot speed can make him dangerous, and that's his wheel zone ability. Let's see if one of these stars can give their team the upper hand in this matchup. Back to you now. There you go, period number one is done. We're gonna come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Well, let's see if we can get some fireworks going here as period number two is underway. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. Scores! And it's three unanswered goals, and as my mom likes to say, they're cooking with gas. <laughs> they're cooking with gas, and you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels. This is a team that knows that they have worn their opponent down. Now they got to keep the pedal to the metal. And the kids carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick, and their opponent's been on their heels. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seeing so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting. Tarasenko's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Skinner's scores! And a little sign of life here on the ice as they try to get back into it. Yeah, a little bit of a momentum swing right here. And now they've got a layer means they've got to have that next shift where they attack and have the mindset to drive the net. Let's see if it's sustainable now. I'm really impressed with this play, James. you got to know where the puck is and where the shot is coming to, and you also have to fight for position. Once you're there with good time, you have to have great hand-eye coordination to be able to tap it and redirect it into the net. Florida's got one back. Now can they get themselves another? They're going to be able to if they do one thing, and that is attack and drive the coverage back. And if you do that, you find ways to get shots through to the net. The Panthers get a hold of it. There's a hit on the play. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Slides the puck over. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. From point blank, scores! The Nothing can go wrong. 
And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Verhage. Edmonton's got the puck. And somehow he hangs on. They gain the zone from the left side. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Quick pass over to Ekblad. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Center and key. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Florida's got the puck along the boards. He got thunderstruck. Scrum along the boards. The Oilers have it against the wall. Off a stick and they can't connect. Rejected. Handles the pass. Great heads up play with the stick by Echo. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. That's a solid check on the play. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Bouchard. Tried to get 2 Q with it and loses possession. Bouchard's close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had, and the play dies. Grabs the puck at center. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Oh, and the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Passes it in front, and that goes off a stick and off target. Blocked in front. Takes the pass. Oh, what a slick stop by Skinner. Picked up along the boards by Dreisaitl. Into the attacking area from the left side. Oh, what a hit. Those are the ones you feel in the morning. Nice reflex by the goaltender to get his glove on that one. Here in the later stages of this period, Edmonton's put on an excellent display of firepower, leading 5-1. The Oilers win the faceoff. Stopped by the goaltender. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It's the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. Makes the save. Off after the offside call. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. And nearing the final minute of the second. Shot! Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Excellent stick work on the play. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for 
for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Edmonton's 20 minutes away from closing out a dominant performance, James. They've been defensively responsible. They've provided a lot of offense when they've gotten into the offensive zone. Now it's about seeing the finish line and closing it out properly. Slides it over to Reinhardt. Forsling's carrying it ahead. Puck scooped up by McDavid. Nice bank pass off the boards. Broken up by Forsling. Sends it in front, and it's blocked. Florida's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Hyman. Takes the feed at the point. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Verhage. Picked up along the wall by Rodriguez. Here's a short pass to Reinhardt. Lays into the body. Moves the puck. What a hit against the wall there. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Here's a chance. Makes the save. Here's a chance. Trap James. I mean, when the puck carrier is below the goal line, everyone's turned, puck focus, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one timer that just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. Edmonton's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Puts it on that, and there's the save of the play. Edmonton's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Barkov's won the faceoff. The Panthers gain control of the puck against the wall. Florida's got it in their own zone. Rodriguez takes it into the offensive zone. Unable to reach that one. Grabbed along the board by CeCe. Puck picked up by Perry. Here we go, off and rush. Turns him away. The Panthers move the puck in the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Oh, wow, what a pass saved by Stolarz. Moves it to Oposo. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by CeCe. Scores! Well, a side that they haven't rolled over just yet here, Cheryl. Well, any life is good life right now when you're looking at this kind of deficit, James. And if you're the goal scorer, you certainly feel good about yourself. But from a collective group and, and the units that are going out there, they're going to have to find a way to generate offense. And hey, they're going to take some risks out here because they got to get a few. The Panthers don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Bennett's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Here's a chance! Here's a shot! And he stakes that one with the club. The Oilers are in the home stretch of this one here in the third period and lead by a wide margin. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. The Oilers take it along the wall. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Keeps possession. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. The 
Oilers are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. is frozen and we'll get a face off. We The Oilers have shown no signs of stopping putting pucks on net and they lead it here in this third. Carrick's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Answered the call on that play. Quick pass to Tarasenko. And he scores! The credit always goes to the goal scorer, but how about this beautiful deke and gift of a pass? I mean, knowing how to draw the coverage to you, that is creativity at its finest. The Panthers are starting to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, and it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Florida's got it in the neutral zone. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap. Shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position. Really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. Edmonton's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Moves it quickly over to Eckholm. And it's a quick pass to Hyman. Denies him with the save. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Hyman's got it against the boards. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Panthers move it in. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Taken along the wall by Kulikov. Florida's looking to break out. Quick feed to Barkov. He says, let's get physical on that play. Stones him in front. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Who had the better night? Carla, stand up. Kachun's been fun to watch as he's been able to generate more offense, guys. He's getting my vote in this one. Edmonton's won the defensive zone draw. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. They wrapped up here late in the third. They have capitalized on many scoring chances tonight. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Florida's got a hold of the puck. And it's kicked away. Oposo's got it along the boards. Puck picked up in the open ice. Taken by Oposo. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Skinner. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's without working your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Florida's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. Edmonton's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Bennett's got it. They'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. 
Skinner's got the puck, and we'll get a whistle here with a stoppage of play. Well, and this is a smart play, James. He made huge saves all throughout the game, and this is a smart decision to be able to preserve the lead. He knows exactly where he's at, and he gets a much-needed face-off. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And they continue to apply pressure here.